Hey guys, welcome to Master Gaming VR. We are going to take a look at The Bellows. Now this is going to be the full game, not the demo which we did uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I saw that there was some uh, issues when the game was initially released in that uh, they basically pushed out a broken build that had some bad default graphic settings. So we're going to take a look at it now that it has been patched up and we actually have lighting effects. Uh, the first thing that I noticed when I got in the game is that they didn't really do anything to the hands. The hands still feel uh, too far up and they're not, you know, they don't feel like they're in a natural position. Like, I don't know, the, the top of my, yeah, it, it's hard to explain. They just feel like they should be down and twisted a little bit when I'm holding my controllers like this. Um, it's hard to explain without being able to show you what the controller looks like. Uh, but that, that would be a request that I would make, and I think that people made that request with the demo as well. It doesn't look like they did that. Um, but right now we have trackpad motion on, which I like, I'm a fan of. The only thing that I don't like is that it is tied to the head and not the hand motion. Um, so anyways, that's that's a personal preference. Um, it's going to be different for each person. Did that painting just move? It looks like it's moving. Anyways. Um, looks like... It's just a shadow. Alright, so that's how we started the game last time. I'm not going to look out there yet. I apparently cannot grab things without knocking them off. Alright. Let's open the shiny book. Locomotion options. Trackpad movement 1. Alright. Touch trackpad 2 with thumb. Player will move forward. Yep. Didn't mean to do that. So trackpad slides on either hand, so I'm not sure why they said number 2. Oh, nice. It's tied to the right hand. So I can use the trackpad to move, but it's tied to the orientation of the right hand. So that's that's a little weird. I, I like that they added this in. Props for that. All right, arm swinger. This one I am not a fan of, but... We'll just go over all of these really quickly. So you grab the grip buttons and you just swing. My problem with this is that something's going on with that painting and I need to back up. I I can't back up. Like if, even if I hold the trackpads down or press a different direction, I can only go forward. So I have to turn around and run away. It might work in this if there's nothing that I need to run away from, but I'm not a fan. Personal opinion again though. All right, walkabout motion. This one I really don't like. Um, so you've got a decent explanation here. Walk to the edge of the play space, turn around, walk to the edge of the play space. Um, so we'll show it here. Uh, so I can now see, what you guys see is uh, just a blurry area, but I actually see my uh, chaperone bounce, and I can walk over to the edge of my chaperone bounce, turn the world so that I am facing the other corner of my chaperone bounds, let the trackpad go, walk over to the edge of my chaperone bounds, which is right here. This is the corner of my chaperone bounds. I press the button again. I spin 180. And now my chaperone bounds are back behind me, and I can walk forward to, towards the wall and touch the wall. And basically, you do the same thing to uh, go the opposite way. So actually, I can just leave it like this. So align your chaperone bounds where the corner is pointed to where you want to go. So I walk over to the corner. My corner is right there. Press the button. Flip a 180. Point the chaperone bounds close to where I want to go. Walk over to the corner, which is now right here. Press the button. Flip around. Line up my chaperone how I want it. And then walk forward. That is a much, much, much more involved uh, process to walk than it needs to be. And I don't have a small space. Um, you know, my space goes from 
you know, over, you know, somewhere over here. Uh, I can see the chaperone line right there along the floor to the chaperone line being on the floor over there. Uh, it's about 2.6 meters by 2.6 meters. Uh, so I can play most games just fine. Apparently this is the last one. So let's flip back to good trackpad mo movement. All right. Let's go ahead and get started by burning our hands off here. Um, no. And no one's here. What was out the window? I can't stick my head out. All right, well, let's go. Of course, all the doors are going to be locked. Hey, creepy dude. I'll look away and he's going to be gone. Yeah, there he goes. This does not offer a whole lot of light. Can't really grab things. Champagne, anyone? Can't break things. Use it as a weapon. Apparently, I'm very strong. There we go. Or not. can't break it when I want to break it. Wow. Okay. Can I put this on? I feel like I need this. No, it didn't break. Put this on. All right. This is very bright. Okay, interacting with objects is not the greatest. This should break though. Or not. Let's go follow creepy dude. Just a second. Where has the music gone? Do not hear anything at all. These are sound effects. And creepy dude hasn't jumped out yet. Books with no titles.
Now oh, that looks familiar. So is this where we were barred off from last time? Just gonna keep trying to break stuff. I've seen that picture in another game. I can't reach further. And Q door slamming. Yep. So nothing in here. Okay, nothing out. Oh. I can't move. Oh, hey buddy. I'm dead. No, seriously, what happened? I'm in the living screen far too long. Alright. And we're back in the starting room. That's a weird effect. I wonder if that's intentional or just a really weird. Oh, you're not that pretty, are you? We we've entered Silent Hill, is what we've done. Yeah, we're dead. We're really dead. I think they're mad that I knocked over all the champagne. Armor seems like it's breathing, and it now has a sword. So we're gonna go get impaled, I think. Hey, buddy. So he's just gonna sit there. Leave him there. Floaty things over there. We could not get into this room before. If there's anything readable or any valuable information in here. Except for a book on the ceiling. Okay. I like the, the no gravity thing. What the hell? I guess they didn't like where the table was. Hmm. 
creepy shadow. No collision on that. I can't walk through it. Oh. So much for liking the no gravity thing. So that was apparently the wrong way. Is this a scene from the demo? Let's go check out the rest of this first. Nope. Alright, let's go back to the door. We move pretty slow. At least the music's back. A little gonna slam. I wonder if I can go the wrong way and die. Well, die more than I'm already dead. Oh. I don't want to go where you want me to go, dude. It's going to get over there. And blackness. No, there we go. Okay. We're in a 3D space. It's sort of like the home screen, but none of the it's pretty stuff to look at. I don't think that you guys are seeing where I'm at when it was that. You're probably just seeing a black screen or whatever that last image was. So we keep coming back here. I'm bloody now. I've got blood on my hands. So I guess maybe I killed him? Hey, where'd my lantern go? Well, shit, I hope I don't need that. And we're going down. Yep. Because we killed somebody, we wouldn't go up. Murder suicide? Oh, no, that's right, go get in the car and die. I haven't figured out yet. Do I follow? I follow. Or I go this way. Hmm. 
And yep, I'm dead. No reflection. That proves it. And I don't have the lantern, so this is pitch black. And another transition. And sideways. Oh. Am I supposed to be in the coffin? Yeah. I'll get the coffin. Oh, that's creepy. Wait, I'm still alive. Where does the demon pop out of here? I'm thinking from below. Or not. I don't have a light. And I apparently cannot continue going that way. Unless there's a door off to the side. But this has changed, so I'm assuming we're going this way. door now. Suicide. I cannot go in. I can't even walk in. Hi. Hmm. What's up, guys? Well, that doesn't look fun. Back to where I can't see anything. Back to black. Hmm. 
loading temporary area, I guess. Alright, back in the bedroom. Why do we keep coming back to the bedroom? My hands keep getting bloodier and bloodier, it seems like. Maybe as I remember. Music is getting really loud at this point. I walk towards the light. Ow. That was kind of blinding. Hmm. I have two options. Good end, bad end. Let's try the good end. Maybe. Millionaire man's... Oh, we were a millionaire. That's nice. Richard Ellswood admits responsibility for the death of local organ player Bernard Griffin. Oh. So we killed him. We didn't die. Mr. Griffin was driving home along the Blackwater River when Mr. Ellswood, Ellswood uh, took a sharp turn, blindsiding Mr. Griffin, resulting in the crash that forced Mr. Griffin's automobile into the river. No, I will let you guys play through and read that. I'm in jail. And we've got Nessie spotted. Can't even eat my bread. All right, guys. Well, I'll let you go through, uh, play through, and see what the other ending is. Uh, I won't spoil all of it. Um, it's a pretty interesting game. I actually think that I like the demo a lot more. It, it was. I don't know. It just felt more well done, if that makes sense. Um, the the jump scares were better. The the tension, the suspense was better. Uh, maybe just because I already knew uh, what I was getting into going in, it didn't really have the same impact. But I definitely liked uh, the demo a lot better than this. This is still a pretty good experience if you want to, you know, freak somebody out who's sensitive to these kind of games. Um, then it's probably a good game for that. There's no action, no uh, intense 
anything. Uh, you don't have to react, respond, dodge anything. Uh, it can be played with one controller as long as you're using um, uh, a locomotion other than arm swing. Uh, arm swing is going to require two controllers, but other than that, uh, you can get away with just a headset and one controller. That's pretty much it. The sound, for the most part, was uh, pretty good. At times, a little bit loud. Uh, at times, uh, non-existent. Um, I'd say that needs to be balanced out a bit more. The sound effects were pretty good. Um, there was one time where the door slammed right behind me, but it sounded much farther away. Uh, overall, it's a pretty decent game. Uh, I would not uh, turn a blind eye to it just because they screwed up the uh, initial uh, release. And if you were put off by the graphics and not the gameplay, then go ahead, give it another chance. Uh, that, I think, is going to do it for me, guys. This was the full version of The Bellows uh, post-fix uh, um, with the locomotion updates. I will see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And go check out my previous video uh, for raw data with uh, uh, gameplay from uh, the new boss character. There's also a giveaway in there for... Uh, a free raw data key that Servios gave me. Uh, like, uh, subscribe, and comment on that video with uh, what you think of the channel. Give me some feedback on the channel, and or uh, tell me what you think about uh, raw data. Uh, either one of those, uh, and you will be. Uh, I will randomly pick a uh, comment on that video. Uh, that is going to do it for me, guys. I will see you in the next video.